Hi, David here. Hey, doing another video. Uh, this time I'm gonna do a video about handlebars. So I just went from clip-on handlebars in the Street Fighter and I went over to big tubular type handlebars. And I wanted to share some of my experience, some of my thoughts. Uh, I know some of you are thinking about going either from clip-ons to regular handlebars or from handlebars to clip-ons. And I wanna share my thoughts on that. So. Uh, also, this installation seems like it was straightforward, but it wasn't without some adaptation and without some uh, some difficulties. So if you want me to do a video on that, let me know in the comments and I'll go ahead and do a video on that. Uh, before we get started, we have some uh, footage in this video that Health and Safety wants me to deliver a disclaimer for. So here's that. All riding and stunts performed by professional experts in a closed course or on public roads. Do not attempt to reproduce stunts on your own or you'll best to live trying to do what I did. Always wear a helmet, always wear all the gear all the time. If you're not first, you're last. Copyright 2006, Ricky Bobby Inc. Okay, now that we have that over with. So let's look at some of the advantages. So we're literally going from a handlebar that clips on to the fork, which is way down low as we all know, okay, going to a nice full tubular type handlebar. So there's a lot of advantages that goes with that. So, obviously comfort is a huge part of this. So as I'm riding my motorcycle, I'm going from a lot of weight on my wrists, a lot of weight on my shoulders, my, my elbows. Now I'm much more comfortable. So my wrists are nice and comfortable. I have a lighter feel on the handlebar. I don't have all that weight bearing down on my wrist, my elbows, my shoulder. And that's one of the pain things for me was the shoulder after an all day ride. And we're talking 200, 250 miles, my shoulders would start to hurt. So that was one of the reasons that I went with this. Uh, so another part of it too is the seating angle. So as I'm sitting on here, it's gonna take my weight and put it back on my sit bones where it belongs. And also for some people, their hip, if they're leaned over like this all day, they can have some hip problems too. So this is a much easier, more comfortable posture sitting on your bike. There's huge advantages to this uh, as far as ergonomics go. So one other main advantage of going to this is, is control over your bike. Obviously these handlebars are much wider than the clip-ons. So you have a lot more leverage when you're riding. So you really notice it in parking lots, slow speed maneuvering. You have a lot more control than you do with the clip-ons. Another advantage too is your, your main surface controls for your clutch, for your brake lever. Uh, I've noticed that without all of that weight bearing down on it, uh, it's much easier and much lighter to go ahead and use the controls, the turn signals, the high beams, the horn. All that is much easier to use. So that is a huge advantage. So one other part of this is that as you take that weight off of your hands, you're gonna move it backwards on the bike. It's gonna mess with your center of gravity. I noticed as I was going in corners that uh, the front end just kind of wanted to dip in on me a little too much. And uh, that's because my center of gravity was messed with. So I actually wound up adjusting my preload so that the front tire and rear tire trail together as they're supposed to. So again, that's a minor minor point, but it could be a major point. I had to relearn how to ride this bike after putting these on. Uh, it, the, the light uh, steering response, uh, how it handled uh, around corner sweepers and everything, it's very, very different. For me, it's working really great though. So another huge benefit of going with bars, adjustability. Bars offer adjustability that you just won't have with clip-on bars. So the bars actually come with uh, segmented, or I should say, instead of segmented, it's actually, uh, um, the bars actually come with indicators on the angle. So as I get these bars, I can loosen up my clamping bolts and then I can rotate this to get uh, exactly the angle I want on these bars and as a matter of fact when I first got this bar the two clamps here were actually turned the other way so I, I took this off this mounting clamp and I flipped them over so I moved this forward about two inches just like that with this type of adjustability which is a huge benefit uh, 
and again, I can adjust these bars up or down however I want them. Another part of this adjustability is on the handlebars themselves. So this bar is very long. So uh, for example, before uh, I got the bar, the mirror had to be way down here, which I didn't like. I like the mirror right where it's at now. But because of the uh, clip-on bars weren't very long, it would interfere with my throttle. So now I can have them up where I want them because I can adjust everything. I can loosen up my throttle, then I can slide it in and out. Um, you can adjust your, um, your starter. You can adjust your um, brake master cylinder. So all that adjustability is kind of built into it. One disclaimer is I didn't drill holes in it. I just use a friction clamp on my run switch. So, but uh, the other thing too is if you don't like the bars, let's say I didn't like these bars at all and I wanted to go back with a much more aggressive stance, I could take this bar off and I could go with a straight bar, like a uh, drag racing bar if I wanted. I can do whatever I want, or I can have ape hangers even, right? As long as your your cables and cords and hoses and everything are adjusted for that, you have that adjustability. So that was a huge benefit for me, uh, having that control and uh, you know just moving everything on the bar just so, so it fits me. So another advantage, uh, having bars opposed to clip-ons, is visibility. So when I go down from real low with the clip-ons, now I'm up a little higher. Believe it or not, that extra added height allows me now to see over cars and most small SUVs. And that is a huge benefit whenever you're navigating traffic. So I can see over and I can see two, three, four, five cars ahead of the person in front of me and I don't have to follow tail lights, right? So that's a, that's a great benefit for me. It may not be for others. I'm pretty big, I'm 6'3". Uh, I have a long torso, so I, I can see over most cars with that. Another one is wind. So when you're down low with clip-ons, whatever you have on your bike, a fairing or a bikini fairing, whatever it is, to break the wind, that could affect you negatively or positively. So a lot of times I notice that as I'm riding down low, I'm getting a lot of turbulence from, from this little itty bitty uh, little shield that I have on here and that turbulence just rumbles inside of your helmet so now that I have the bars if I sit up straight enough I'm gonna get some nice clean air coming over my helmet and it's gonna really reduce that wind noise plus the vents work a little bit better I've noticed too because of that clean laminar airflow coming up and over so you know just something to think about it may not be a benefit for you it may be something negative if you're shorter or uh, yeah, it, it's all going to depend on your bike, what kind of bike you have. So, those are those are good benefits as well. So, so far we've been talking about the advantages of going with a full bar. So, what are the disadvantages? The disadvantage? Speed. Period. So, the clip-on bars are designed to bring the rider down low. Down low close to the tank, lower that center of gravity, and enable the rider to kind of slide off into the corners effortlessly as he's riding along. With these bars, you don't get that. You're much more upright, and you are exposed to a tremendous amount of wind as you're going fast. So when I'm riding with my buddies, we like to ride fast on the back roads. And literally the first time that I rode with them and we were doing uh, higher speeds, it felt like, it felt like the amount of force I was using to hang on and keep my body low enough out of the wind blast, it felt like it was like trying to do a pull up at 160 miles an hour. The actor portraying this video did not actually travel on a motorcycle at 160 miles per hour. If he actually did, it was deep in the heart of Mexico on the lawless desert highways of Chihuahua. Always buckle up, don't pollute, don't do drugs, stay in school, hit the subscribe button right now. Sorry, that was my fault. What I meant to say is, when you're riding the posted speed limit, on backcountry roads, it feels like doing a chin up against hurricane force winds. That's what I meant to say. So, in conclusion, the bars are fantastic. They really work for me. There's some disadvantages to 
uh, you know, they, they do stick out wider. You're going to be exposed to wind. You're going to be exposed to the elements and more bugs. Uh, but for me, they really work. Uh, I'm really pleased with going to this type of a bar. Um, of course, I'm older, you know, and a 200 mile ride isn't the same as it was, you know, 20 years ago. So the, the, what it comes down to is choose, choose the bars that are best for you. If you've got bars you want to go to clip-ons, uh, use the information I just gave you to weigh that out. But if you got clip-ons, you want to go to bars, again, use the information, make a choice for you. For me, this works. It works fantastic. Uh, I'm really enjoying the, the bars on here. And I really like the looks too. The clip-ons were, um, you know, they had the aggressive look, but I really like the looks of the Street Fighter now with the bars on them. And again, I, I've got that adjustability, which you're not gonna get from the clip-ons. And that is a huge factor whenever you're thinking about doing this. Uh, I have a lot of adjustability to, to make this bike my own. And that's what the Street Fighter is all about, isn't it? It's about making this your own, making it fit you, reflect your attitude, and uh, this reflects my attitude. So, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe, uh, like the video, Moto Carpe Diem, uh, I'll make more videos for you. Until next time, seize the road.